our next our next witness on this side. Solutions only. Uh, peace and love, everybody. Solution. The gas stations. The kids already created their own job at the gas stations and they make it so if you go to the gas stations and, and pay a child to pump your gas, they'll cut your gas off. But if you go to New Jersey, the gas is cheaper and somebody Mexican always pumping your gas. That's five, 10,000 jobs overnight for solutions. Solutions. Put a license to get bullets, not guns. A gun without a bullet is like a stick. What, you gonna throw the gun at somebody? Oh, uh, it's the guns. Get the guns off the street. Before they made guns, people was killing each other with swords. So what, you gonna go in everybody's kitchen and take the silverware away? You gotta begin to work with the inside of these individuals. I'm gonna tell you the language they respond to on the streets and they not playing. And if you're a fraud, you'll be exposed by my young boys. It's called love. If you love up on them, they'll change. I live out there with them. I've been out there with them almost four years, homeless, living with them, acting like I was okay because I was too embarrassed to ask for help. And I got so many friends with money, they wouldn't believe. But see, when we don't love up on one another, when we, the so-called leaders, Keep playing with the lives of your peers based upon familiarity, popularity. This ain't no popularity contest. I gave up a whole family, a whole wife and everything. They said, well, you were trying to help. How could you give up your wife? Because she didn't understand that if I don't connect with that kid that's going to shoot my son, I'll be sitting there looking like my old head Joel say. I open the door for my son killer. So I would rather have it good for you and your new boyfriend and my children than to watch it die. No one was coming. We already know what's coming. We already know it get crazy in the summertime. So you want a solution? Especially between the hours of 3 p.m., 6 p.m., create a positive activity that they want to do. You spend 30, 40,000 on a meeting. Give me 30, 40,000 and let me buy some four wheelers and take me to 33rd and Ridge and I'll show you a program that'll stop kids from killing and go to prison. Give me some pencils and paper to give away so I can draw with them. Give me some chalk so I can do Operation Street Play and play some King Ball. Give me some double dutch ropes so I can teach them how to shake it fast without selling yourself. When we gonna stop playing and do what's right? Because one day, just like my homie, who I used to ask for money all the time to help, and one day he came to my door after he had to kill somebody. And when he came to my door, he asked me for something because everybody else that was his peers shunned him because they scared of jail. But he knew to come to my broke ass. And I gave him $30 in the prayer and he's doing life in prison right now. You know why? Because he was a day late and a dollar short when they knew where the help was at. You can't help if you ain't got your fingers on the pulse of the city. So the first thing you got to do is put your fingers on the post of the city. How you gonna prescribe a prescription for somebody when you ain't examine a patient? That mean you making educated guesses with the lives of our children. I don't respect that. I don't care if you're Jay-Z, Mayor Trump, President, whatever the heck he is. God gave me a responsibility and he gave you one too and they them things that came up out of us. And let me tell you one thing, and I'm gonna show you this gonna help, but you wouldn't believe it. And I'm gonna end with this, this gonna help DHS and everybody in this here once you figure this out. They robbing you by not telling you that men carry children. Once you figure out possession is nine-tenths of the law, men carry children. 
Figure that one out. That's going to fix your DHS and your Planned Parenthood. I'm out. Thank you, baby.